Hey, what's going on guys? Nick here from Akari Gaming, bringing you a new video today. Um, so it has been a very, very long time since I've just actually decided to sit down and talk to you guys about updates and what's some uh, new information about Akari Gaming. Um, so far, 2018 has been just like, it's been hectic, chaotic, but all in a very good way. So I just want to go ahead and tell you guys some updates and maybe some things that happened during 2017 that you're not aware of. Um, as usual, we kind of like took a break from YouTube and team activities and like 2017 started off strong, don't get me wrong. Um, we were rolling, we had an FPL team, and that female pro league for Halo. Um, I had just found a co-owner and one of my buddies named Chris, uh, Kara Boost. And uh, things were rolling, you know, we sent a team to, uh, to Vegas to play in Halo. We were going to drop all sorts of like merchandise and like it was, we had a lot of plans, probably too many plans because, you know, towards the end of the year, stuff just, it just went down and like down, like not in a good way, like we were like a sinking ship. So uh, I think we got a little too ambitious in what we were trying to do. And it kind of just burned us out. I know I got burnt. Uh, Kara Boost, same way. In fact, he's not even really part of Akara anymore. He just got married, and, you know, I totally understood what was going on, so no hard feelings there. But yeah, like, I was just toast on 2017. But some good things that did happen were the Akara game became an LLC. So, like, we're, like, officially a, an actual company now. So that's cool. Um, I pretty much got that just to protect the, you know, protect us because we had, you know, some ambitious plans on things we wanted to do with the team and of course, you know, like I said, it all kind of like went away towards the end of the year. But 2018 kind of, uh, kind of got rejuvenated, you know, I'm sure this, like it always happens, new year, new goals, and uh, yeah, like it just, I met some people that told me about some stuff. And it just got me all excited, and by that I mean, like, uh, if you follow us on Twitter, we are part of, like, the Colorado Smash community, which I'm sure a lot of people are going, what the hell, because we've always been a Halo and Call of Duty team, so to be part of, like, Super Smash Brothers was just, it's really outlandish if you think about it, because we've never really been involved, and in fact, I got some flack for it from some, uh, some randoms that, you know, thought we were kind of just trying to jump the gun, but so far it's been like a major success so if you didn't know we uh first started off by picking up uh a car of shoe mr schumann um he was our first acquisition and oh i guess i skipped the part though the reason we jumped into smash was my co-worker with the city uh little joe guy my man he sat there and was just talking to me about smash you know we're both in a new shop so we were just having small talk, and he's, I could tell he's really into video games because this dude's always rocking some, like, his little DS and all that stuff. He even brings in his Switch once in a while. But we were just talking about Melee and Smash, and he was letting me know about the Colorado scene, and it just had me thinking, like, man, it's kind of cool to see, like, a local scene. Because here in Colorado, like, Call of Duty and Halo, there is no local scene. Like, I'm sure there's a ton of kids that play it, but there's no meetups. There's no weeklies. Like, here in Smash, these dudes are, like, grinding multiple days out of the week in together, uh, really be Red Rocks or uh, School of Mines. Or my favorite now is, like, they go to Gameworks, and it's just like a Smash tournament that all these dudes is playing, and it's every single week. So he kind of, like, threw the idea to me about getting into Smash, and I just wouldn't fit. So we went ahead and... Uh, Picked up a car of shoe, Mr. Schumann. Uh, he's number two on the power rankings for Smash here in Colorado. And, like, it was just, like, an instant success. You know, he's a really good kid, really good guy. And he's been, like, we've just been benefiting from him. He's just, he's putting up numbers. He's putting up great placements. Like, in fact, his first event was Battery Basement 9. And he ended up getting, like, uh, fifth place, which he ended up not being very happy because he really strives to be, like, in that top two, top three conversation. But he got fifth, and for us, we were ecstatic about it. And it's, it's been a success so far. So then we went ahead and 
I guess Joe guy, he's pretty good friends of, uh, with Bang, and I'm sure everyone knows about Bang. He's the number one uh, on the power rankings here for Colorado and Smash. And we went ahead and we talked to him, we reached out to him, and he was totally down to jump on board with Akara. So since then, we went ahead and signed him with, uh, like, with Shu. So we got the number one and two players in Colorado. And um, they just had a tournament a few weeks ago up at, uh, was up in Springs over at You Thought. I'm not sure, You Thought 6. Sorry if I'm getting that wrong. But uh, not all, they both uh, teamed up for doubles. They won that. And then Shu took first place in the event for Smash, and Bane got second. So, like, it's been pretty, pretty exciting here, especially with Smash. It's just been a really good time, and uh, very happy to have these guys on board. Um, the good thing about Smash is there seems to be some, like, plenty of tournaments coming up that I want to get these guys involved in. Uh, like, for instance, I think Shu's going out of state to Arizona in a week or two. He's going to go compete in that tournament. And then... Um, I think we have Flat Irons 3, which is supposed to be a pretty big tournament here in uh, Boulder. And then, like, there's just a bunch of stuff coming up. I want to go to Evo in Vegas, which is, like, August 3rd. So we're going to be uh, talking to all these dudes and just getting going on that. And, like, start with this video. But I'm just going to be rambling. I'm not going to edit anything, so just bear with me. Also, um, we are going to be trying to jump back into the Female Pro League. Um... We are currently building, like, a team for Call of Duty. We might skip Halo this year. I don't know. It's just that it started off really good in 2017, and just that ended up being just, like, a pain in the ass for me. Lots of drama. Nothing I'm not sure I want to, like, be on board with again. But if I find the right people, like, the right girls, I'm totally okay with, like, getting invested on that because the community there is growing, and, you know... If it's growing, I want to be a part of it. What else do we got? We have, we finally have some team apparel that I'm like proud of. Like, actually proud of. Um, you know, last year we went through Battle Buddy and quality was just, it was shit. Let's be honest, it's bad. In fact, I gotta get a new intro because they're still on there and it was just garbage. And then we went ahead and got our jerseys through Sector 6, and oh my god, bruh, you know how long that took me to get my jersey? I'm talking like months, and then like I, you know, I've been contacted and they finally get back to me, and it was just like, oh yeah, we haven't done this, we haven't done that, your design's not even ready, blah blah blah, dude, I'm talking like, it was a nightmare, then we get the jersey, it was alright, nothing too special. But now we, uh, we're with Arma Centrum, and I'm sure a lot of people know them. They used to do Phase, Envy. It's a real apparel company. Um, we just released uh, the update on, on their website. Like, this team store is now available. Pro hoodies, pro jackets, pro jerseys, uh, a handful of shirts, a handful of just normal hoodies, even a flag on there. I'm pretty stoked. The guys on the team are pretty stoked. So that that's it for that. Like you get a chance just check it out um, every purchase does like support this team it helps us out I know a lot of people say well I'm not on the team like I want, I want a jersey but I'm not on the team it's like hey man get a jersey if you want it's it helps us and now that we're like trying to stay local here with our teams it just gets the word about Colorado and like a car game so if you buy something hey I appreciate it oh, what else do we have beside that I don't know, man. We're gonna try it. <laughs> Fortnite's taking over the world. Uh, I got a handful of guys on the team that are playing that, so I'm trying to get involved on some leagues for them. Um, I'd like to get back into R6, you know, Rainbow Six. We we had a team at one point in 2017 for that. Really good team, actually. They were winning all their matches, but I guess they had drama inside. I go on one trip, I come back, the whole team just broke up. Not no one's talking to each other. It's like, oh my god. So that's something like when you own a team or run a team, you're gonna go through that kind of stuff. And there's just no way around it. You're you're gonna have drama on every turn you go on. So you always want to try to build team with like people you're familiar with. You know, those loyal members that have been there for a few years. Like if they've stuck around for this long, like my guys have. I got a you know I probably got ten dudes. Maybe a little less. 
that have been here for years, you know, and they're just they're loyal as hell. So as long as you have a foundation, even with the drama, things you know everything's still gonna be okay. Um, oh, so uh, we're gonna try to get our Twitch account going up again. We have some plans. I'm gonna be trying to run a Smash tournament here in Colorado. Um, I have hinted at that on on uh, Twitter a few times. But watch out, the Akara Smash Invitational. It's gonna go down. I've been in talks with our guys, and we're slowly setting it up. But it's gonna it's gonna happen. Something is happening on 2018. I'm not sure on the venue yet. I'm gonna try to talk to guys at Red Rock School of Mines. Uh, I mentioned that game works, and you know the kid that ran, runs it was like it seemed like he might be into it, but then again I got the vibe that he like wasn't into. So I was trying just to sponsor a weekly where. Uh, Hitman and I were going to throw in like, I don't know, $250, $300 for uh, a pot and, you know, winner takes all. So we were trying to do that. They seem like they were on board at first, but I haven't got that vibe yet. I'm going to send some emails and talk to them again and see. But if not, I'm going to talk to people at Red Rocks. I'm going to talk to people at School of Mines. And, you know, if you're not from Colorado, you really won't know what I'm talking about on that. But for you local Smash players, I am going to do something. Um... So stay tuned on that. There will be announcements. Also, we're going to do a podcast. Another thing that we had hinted at, you know, like I said, we were too ambitious, didn't get a chance to do it, yada, yada. It's going down this year. We are going to do it, so stay tuned. Uh, it's going to be over, you know, over everything, eSports, Call of Duty, Halo. It's going to have a big, uh, a big chunk of it will be, like, locally based for like our smash players and melee players but you know also on the national level of that and i'm also gonna be looking to have plenty of guests so i keep it fresh you know plenty of local players and then we'll also reach out to other team owners and orgs and yeah yeah you get the gist but yeah guys you know i just want to give you a little bit of information on what's going on i will be doing this every week or two probably every two weeks just to get the information out and let you guys know know what's going on with Akara Gaming and all the updates, tournament placings, a lot of Smash related information. Um, but beside that, that's really all I have. Uh, thanks for taking the time to like listen to me on this video. I know I sound really crappy right now, like I'm kind of sick at this moment, so I'm just trying to get better. And you know, I'm not going to edit this because just we'll just let it thrill. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have. If you have any questions, go ahead, go ahead and leave me some comments, and I'll get back to you all. And um, I hope you guys have a great night, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one.